welcome to clickmyproject.com so i am going to show the process of uh, improved security and the efficiency attribute based data sharing so in this process with the extension of the distributed data security so there arises a problem of social networks or uh, uh, security in cloud computing so in this the system architecture there are data owners and the key generation protocol um, plays a major part so the data owners define the access policies and updates over the distributor network so the problem arises is called key escrow problem so key escrow problem is there is a not a um, valid key generation in the distributor system so so user revocation must be done in order to in order for the proper data security to overcome the problems we implement escrow free key issuing protocol and fine grain user revocation per each attribute could be done by using a pre auxiliary encryption so in order to solve the key escrow problem we introduce the escrow free key using protocol and it can be achieved by two party communication between the key generation center and the data storing center therefore we achieved a attribute based encryptions based on the cryptography approach that achieve a fine grain access control let's see the flow of the process here the user and the data owner plays a major role in the output based data sharing when the key using protocol is used the keys to the both the user and the data owner so that the key generation center which is responsible for generation of the attributes based keys which is uh, generated by by taking the attributes of the file and also the attributes of the data owner and it uh, generates the master key and uh, by means of the master key it generates the secret key then the proxy threshold re, uh, proto uh, re encryption protocol is activated and it is done by forward and backward secrecy process at last the user can using the secret key in order to decrypt the message here in the overall process we use the, the attribute based key for the for the bo both the encryption and the decryption process let's see the execution of the process first we run the homepage.java then just click the process and we are going by the user's name just click the users if you are already registered means just go by users button or else you just give and store give the store process just give the users then select any uh, there are as per our process there are two users there is a two party communication protocol there are two users in this network so uh, like we have peers to peer network so uh, I am just selecting any own user uh, first he has to log in in the network just give name then id enter the id and give connect so he is able to if he is a authorized user means he gets connected to the kgc the key generation center and afterwards he is taken for the key generation center then the user records whoever connected to the network the two party will be shown in the user records and there will be listed the whole who, who is logged in will be shown here his random id will be shown then we encrypt the random id this random id is responsible for the identification of each and every user we keep the initiator process here for checking whether the user enter is valid or not just go by the initiator process then uh, just press the kg send button then click the decrypt process here give the request to the kgc for example i am just giving the message of send um, the random number in order to request the request the initiator to the kgc then go for uh, um, here then the kgc send here the initiator send message the decrypt when i click the decrypt button so it asks for the id here i am giving uh, some id like uh, i am just giving this uh, actually the id of that the initiator is 8 but i am giving plus 5 
so if it is uh, whoever enters the network I am just adding plus 5 if if he is not entering the key he will not take and further I am giving so is a valid ID then I am entering this 127 ID here then click the user sent then I am going for that key gen uh, initiator process when I click the user send it will show and the initiator report is the valid user initiator report is the valid user then if the report is has been sent to the KGC and then KGC at last I am going for the KGC process when I click the initiator command it shows the valid so only after the initiator report is valid the key is generated for the users then valid user the random key is generated then I am going for the distributed group key here I am selecting a user 1 for gen for distributing the group key for uh, generating the group key and I send it the group key is dispatched here then at last uh, here using the group key I am going to uh, encrypt my data likewise uh, first I am going by group key select any of the group key by using the group key I am going enter into I am going to then uh, encrypt the data using attribute based data sharing for example if you're giving the correct group key means it will uh, able to uh, enter into the data for example I am selecting one file here selecting here any one text file for example yeah I am selecting one text file so and it attributes are generated here based on the attributes we are going to generate the key so file name and size and these are the attributes then uh, based on the file attributes I am going to generate the monster key by using the binary layer mapping process so based on the monster key we are going to generate the secret key and the public key is the sum of the uh, attributes of the data owner the using the uh, we use the uh, logical XR operation of public key and master key and of at last the secret key is generated using the secret key we encrypt the data and shown we just uh, show the origin data here the encrypted data will be shown and after uh, completed the encryptions uh, we are going to initiate the another user that is the user 2 process just run the user 2 process here uh, request of uh, decrypt has been posted by the user 2 to the user 1 so whenever the request posted by the user 1 to the user 2 um, just user 1 check whether the request uh, posted by the other user is valid or not just I am clicking the validate button here uh, if it is a valid user the request will be granted by the user 1 to the user 2 so whenever it is accepted the at last the our final process is shown by using the secret key generated by the user 1 uh, it will be sent to the authorized user user 2 and it will finally the data is encrypted and shown here so all through the process we used here the peer to peer based data sharing attribute based data sharing process and uh, the most uh, the secret key is generated from the attribute of the data owner and the data he is going to store in the peer to peer and uh, network so we achieved that attribute based encryption and data sharing all through this process